Eusebius, again, my favorite source, he's the earliest church historian, tells us that the persecutions were not one long horror story. They were on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again. They were sporadic. And when they were off, it was really a very pleasant time for the church. For instance, the second century A.D., we're talking about 100 to 199, shall we say, uh, the church could grow more or less unhindered by the Roman state. Uh, there were a few Christian superstars who were persecuted, more or less, to, to keep the Christians uh, controlled, you might say. Polycarpus Smyrna would be a case in point. Ignatius is another case in point. Though under the five good emperors of Rome, yeah, don't blame the five good emperors. They were, again, forced by their governors who were pleading with them, can we please persecute these people because the pagan priests are, are crawling up our back. And so generally though, the Christians themselves were fairly well let alone.